Hello, welcome. Today we are going to be learning how to make the Logan Paul Prime Hydration Drink. I always start off by deleting the default queue. So we we'll import image as plain. Let's tap to enter into edit mode. With Ctrl R, we can add a loop cut and scale it up. I'll try to align it with the image. If you look at the body of the drink, you can see some um, lines at the side of this depression. So to add this, you can still do the same. Control R, add a loop, cut there. Do the same thing behind. Extrude down then scale do the same thing here control R loop cut control R so that's all the faces then we extrude we scale it down Then scale it again. We repeat the same thing to form the two other loops. So again, Ctrl R to add a loop cut. We go to where the groove is. Ctrl R below the groove. So I got the faces. Extrude it the scale inward. Then from the bottom, we can just bevel the edge below. So you select one of the edges. Go to select, select edge loop. Then we bevel. The bevel option can increase the segments to make it smooth. Now, depending on how detailed you want the bottle to look, you can spend more time working with this. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it quick. So make this part here. Okay, just do the same thing. Select all the faces at the neck of the bottle. Extrude it out. Scale the faces closer to each other. Now we have the basic shape of the bottle. To apply the texture, we are going to project it as a UV. So to do this, we can quickly project from view. Since we have already aligned the object with the picture of the prime bottle. 
going to UV editing mode. Select all the faces and project from view. So now we have to add this as a material. A texture, then we'll locate that texture. It up to the base color. Have it projected. Back to UV editing mode. All and then we align the UV map with the picture of the bottle. So these are the three faces we, we are going to project the bottle from the three different angles. Try and align. So if we switch it back, we already have it looking like the bottle. It's a quick way. So to make the bottle look um, smooth, we just need to select it and click Shade Smooth. So that fixes that problem. Now we can assign a different texture for the bottle cap. Go back to edit mode. You can select the bottle cap area. After selecting the bottle cap, we can give it its own texture. Go to materials and we add a new material and assign these areas. So for the cover, we'll assign new texture to these areas. The base color, the color picker. Also, if you want to be more detailed, with this area, you can select all the faces here and change them to a plastic material and assign a plastic material to all the faces here. Select that to our material session. Add the material, assign those materials there. That's a quick way. And for the size, the same thing we did. We'll go back to the UV and project the sides. And select like this. We just want to select just this part. This part then UV you can project from view and move it over here. And do this for the same side, the next side. So this it depends on how perfect you want this look, how perfect you want this to look. You can spend more time getting in the details and lining it up to look by far better but this is just a quick way to do it do the same thing at this side we select the faces here UV project from view 
Um, again, move it to the side. Scale it. Yeah, we have the bottle. It's looking, <laughs> it's looking good so far. Switch to rendered mode. So by adding a clear coat to the label, it's going to make it look more like a plastic, more like a plastic material. If you play with the transmission of the white plastic material here, you can allow light to pass through it. So it's, that value controls the amount of light going through the material. We add a material to this scene. Just play around with the lighting and see what works best for you. So this is not this is not a rendering tutorial, so we don't waste much time showing you how to set up a different kind of lighting. But here's a quick one. By your rendering settings, you can go into the color management and change this high contrast to make the colors pop. That's it for this tutorial. Depending on how much quality you want in the bottle, you can spend more time with your materials and your lighting and rendering. If you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.